What's up, YouTube? It's MacBook here. Uh, today I wanted to make um, a screen flow tutorial, uh, just the basics, because some people ask me how to use screen flow, because it's pretty complicated after you recorded your video to edit it, and I'm just going to show you the basics, uh, what you should know about screen flow, and what could be handy to use later on if you use screen flow. So here we go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the screen flow recording uh, tutorial. I'm sorry. Um, so here, go for the screen flow recording. I'm sorry for my nose. I'm a bit sick. Maybe swine flu. I'm just joking. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you the basics because some people ask me that, like I already said. Uh, so basically, when you start, uh, when you record, you can choose if you want to record your built-in eyesight, which is yourself, or your uh, screen recording. So basically, most of the time, I do both. So, uh, you've got on top, most of the time, you're building eyesight. Um, I start always with a bigger one, so you can just, by scrolling up and down, you can make it bigger, or by going to the first tab and say, the scale, change the scale here. So, uh, yeah. So, for example, I'm talking here. What's up, YouTube? It's MacBook here. And from... Right about here, for example, I have to select the button eyesight clip and I want to say I want to make it small and go in a corner. So I just add video effect. Oh, don't never forget to add video effect because otherwise it has no effect. Make it smaller, bring it to the side, uh, maybe add an opacity, which is the transparency. Rotate it a bit. So, for example, like this and like this. And you so you can also add a reflection here, so the amount of reflection. It's pretty cool. You can basically change everything. You can also add a shadow, which I don't like that much. Uh, so now basically what you did, you came from the big one, which had uh, over full screen and in the corner. And here in the middle, you've got your effect. And there you go. So see, so that's basically the main thing about V effect. I found this a bit tricky to use in the beginning because I didn't really get it. But it's pretty simple. So, uh, and then, for example, you want to get it back. You just say add view effect again. You always have to put add view effect. And say, I want it back to this and make it bigger. And put the opacity to 100. So, for example, I've got here. It goes to the corner. And it comes back in. Okay, so that's basic, the, the basic thing about the... Video action. Then for your screen recording, what you got on the bottom most of the time, uh, you can. Oh yeah, sorry about the building eyesight. You can still go to the uh, the second tab, which is the audio properties, and you can say, for example, I didn't talk loud enough, so I'm just gonna add, put the volume higher or mute the audio or an effect to the audio. Oh, uh, okay. So that's basically it. Now your screen recording. You can go to the third tab. Uh, with your screen recording, what I want to say, you can also obviously add a video effect. So, for example, I want to make it smaller and go to the site here. I mean, it's basically the same with the screen recording thing. Uh, I mean, with the building eyesight. So, the the effects are always the same. You can basically do everything with the effects. So, then for your um, screen recording, you can go to the third tab, which is screen recording properties, and say, for example, show the mouse pointer. Um, you wanna click effect, so that's the radar, for example, which is that little round which comes when you click your pointer. You can also make it a circle right here and make that comes a circle. Uh, you can choose the opacity of that circle right here. Um, and I'm just gonna put the cursor to default, and then you wanna go to show, uh, you can choose show key pressed which is all your letters and show modifier keys which is all the rest like command alt control shift enter backspace arrows uh, that's basically it so yeah these are all your stuff and then you can go to call out on um, some people this won't work but I know um, but on some people it does so add call out and then basically the whole screen becomes black uh, you can choose for example how black you want it opacity here uh, if you want a blurry background um, and then you can say uh, you've got uh, around the mouse you've got this area which is illuminated so to point out exactly what you're showing you can make the borders bigger 
zoom up exactly on that area and that's basically it so you can do a lot of things here so then this is only for the newest version which is add text box which is basically add a box with text in it uh, and you can and for example you can also add a video effect to this one for example it's in the center and on an add effect you'll see that the effect appeared there and you want to go to the, the corner there so basically what you got here oops, is this so the, uh, as long as you've got the video effect in your hands I mean in your hands I mean control controlling the video effect uh, it's pretty simple so uh, yeah what I want to say is um, when you want to split the clip so that means for example you don't want a piece of a clip you will just want to delete that um, so you can just press command shift T and go to the part where you want it back in and you select that clip and you say command shift T and then you basically split the clip and you've got a, a little small a part and you can just delete that by hitting backspace so yeah that was just a little thing I wanted to add so I hope this helped all of you uh, if you have any questions or problems just PM me or uh, comment below if you've got any question I, I hope I can answer them because I'm pretty good with screen flow because I use it all the time um, so yeah thanks for watching please leave comments below rate up there I, yeah there I think and uh, subscribe up there so uh, yeah peace